This is Dr. Tuckman. I'm going to be presenting an MP joint collateral ligament reconstruction augmented with an internal brace. The patient is a 52-year-old male who had an injury to his right hand approximately four months prior to presentation. On examination, there was gross radial instability. A longitudinal incision was made over the radial aspect of the metacarpophalangeal joint. When performing this reconstruction, it's very important to preserve the sagittal bands. This allows early range of motion, uh, as well as prevents uh, extensor tendon instability post-op. A small area is cleared at the insertion of the collateral ligament on the metacarpal head. Appropriate placement of the graft on the proximal phalanx is assisted with a guide pin and intraoperative fluoroscopy. An incision is made in the sagittal bands in line with the fibers. A guide pin is then placed at the insertion of the collateral ligament. This is sitting on the volar aspect of the proximal phalanx. A 3.5 millimeter drill is then used over the guide pin. A palmaris longus tendon graft was harvested. It's very important to keep the graft to a two millimeter graft. Uh, any larger, uh, the anchors will not deploy. While you don't have to, I do typically put a stitch at the end of the graft. The graft is then placed on an Arthrex 3.5 swivel lock suture anchor as well as a label tape uh, that acts as an internal brace. Uh, you do have the option of using a suture tape which is a little bit smaller than the label tape. Very important when inserting these anchors, there's no interposed soft tissues. Uh, this can impair the passage of the graft and the anchor. The inserter is placed to the bottom of the tunnel using firm pressure and turning very slowly until the screw catches, the anchor is deployed. The inserter is removed, the sutures and one limb of the suture tape are cut. The interval between the collateral ligament and the sagittal bands is developed. The suture tape and graft are passed between the interval. The insertion of the collateral ligament on the dorsal aspect of the metacarpal head is confirmed with intraoperative fluoroscopy. A 3.5 millimeter tunnel is drilled. And the soft tissues surrounding the tunnel are cleared. The MP joint is placed in 60 degrees of flexion with neutral adduction abduction. The anchor is inserted. Uh, very important to make sure that every strand of the graft is within the fork or the inserter will not pass easily. Same as with the proximal phalanx, slow firm pressure to get the anchor to deploy appropriately. The joint is placed through a range of motion as well as stability is confirmed. The end of the graft is trimmed. Patient is placed in an ulnar gutter splint. Post-op day 10, they begin occupational therapy with full active range of motion and have a custom molded hand-based ulnar gutter splint made. They may remove the splint to exercise as well as to shower. At week four, they begin to wean from the splint and begin passive range of motion as well as strengthening and are cleared for full activity at eight weeks post-op. At 10 days post-operatively, patient has regained nearly all of their range of motion. And at six weeks, stability is still maintained. Thank you for watching this video. I encourage you to leave comments and let me know what you think.